In this tutorial, we'll cover how admins can enforce multi-factor authentication, otherwise known as MFA, on devices. MFA increases the overall security of your company's Mac, Windows, and Linux devices by requiring an additional layer of authentication via TOTP tokens. In order to configure MFA for devices, ensure that any users bound to those devices have already set up MFA via the user portal. If you haven't set up MFA for users yet, please check out our tutorial videos on enabling MFA for users and groups. In this demo, we'll cover the steps for enabling MFA on Mac, Windows, and Linux devices, and the user experience on those devices. As a prerequisite, we can see an example in our list of users, Bob Fay has MFA enabled and is currently active. If MFA has not been configured for your users, complete this step before proceeding. To enforce MFA on devices, navigate to the Device Management tab on the left and select Devices. Here you'll see the list of devices in your GemCloud organization. For this demonstration, we'll select our example macOS device. Details will slide in from the right side with multiple configuration options. Under the OS logo and device name on the left, you'll see TOTP MFA login. This will be set to Disabled by default. To enable, Click TOTP MFA Login and select Enable from the dropdown. A pop-up will describe enabling MFA authentication on devices. Click OK in the bottom right, and when you're ready, click Save in the lower right again. These same steps can be repeated for your Windows and Linux devices. For Linux devices, this setting can be found in the Settings dropdown in the Details pane. In order to enable MFA on Linux devices, you'll need to select either one of those options allow SSH password login, or enable public key authentication. If both are selected, TOTP MFA will not be presented as a selectable option. Now that we've enabled our Windows, Mac, and Linux devices for multi-factor authentication, let's see what users will experience on those devices. When logging into Mac, if FileVault is enabled on the device, it will first ask for the FileVault password to decrypt. Once fully decrypted, it will then present the macOS login screen where the password and TOTP token will be requested. For Windows, upon any fresh login or reboot, the user will be requested to type in both the password as well as their TOTP token. A TOTP token is only required when a user initially logs into their JumpCloud managed Windows device. When a user locks their screen, they aren't required to enter a TOTP token to unlock their device. And finally, when logging into Linux via SSH, if you've configured SSH password login, the user would type in their username, password, then they'll be requested for their TOTP token before being able to access the shell. If you've configured public key authentication, it'll just request the MFA token. That's it. This concludes the tutorial video for enabling MFA on your Mac, Windows, and Linux devices. For more information on MFA with JumpCloud, please check out our related knowledge base articles and tutorial videos for more details.